Hey, welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. Say we get the bill, man. Let me do my job, please. <laughs> All right, listen. I, I've, I've been paging through this wonderful book. Uh, earlier on, we saw the launch, of course, of the hashtag Masisu 100 Recipe Book and how it all came together. And now, Chef Tsukupatu Seribe, a graduate from the National Youth Chefs Training Program, is in the kitchen to show us how to make this delectable Mabele Ading and Morocco tart served with chili chicken livers recipe that she developed for the book. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And now, Tsukupatu um, so what inspired you to come up with, with this particular recipe? Mama Sisu is a leader, an activist, a nurturer, and a mother to our nation. So her, that inspired me, her loving nature and welcoming character inspired me to come with this recipe. Yeah, and w- w- when it comes to the elements, I mean there's so many parts of this recipe that when I look at the individual ingredients, like the fact that for instance, how how are you used Morocco? In Morocco, that, that I know from home, you know what I mean? In spinach, that or that or that. Which parts of these kind of hop back to your memories? Kohai, were they, were they recipes that you cook with chicken livers? With What are these? Skin? Pilchards, nyanara, with the uh, uh, green peppers there? Yes, because chicken livers and Morocco are a comfort food to many South Africans. This is very true. Mm. So, I came across this like, okay, it should be a cost-effective recipe yes. and it should be a nurturing recipe. Yeah. So this is full of, it's full of like, it's full yeah, of oh life, my we have iron, so it's full of life and absolutely. sand. So I'm going to pick this all my spinach, okay. I added my chicken stock. So this at about medium heat, high heat? On medium heat. Medium heat, okay. Because you don't want to overcook the spinach. Yeah. So it's a quick saute. Okay. For nutritional value. You just, I'm your assistant chef, so you just tell me what you need next and I'll, get, I'll bring it to you. Okay. Okay. So you're going to stir this until the soap chips are well dissolved. Oh yes. You can smell them. Already getting that hot and whole, the smell of whole. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to cook out our iron and yes, the of the spinach. So I'm going to quickly swap these. Okay. That's and then also while you're at it, I'm, I'm going to try to keep you talking while you cook. How okay. you do it here? <laughs> um, you are a graduate of the the National Youth Chess Program, right? Yes. You graduated in 2014. Yes. How how has that prepared you for the culinary world, being part of the program? Okay, I think me being here, cooking live on national television, is a preparation of its own. Yeah. Because usually people don't see what's happening at the back house of their kitchen. This is true. So now with you guys and the viewers at home, I'm my clients. Yes. This is an open view kitchen, so it's a preparation for me. I love it. I love it. You can answer me the keyword dish two three three seven two eight if okay, you'd like to make, it. to make your very own uh, Mabele Ading and Morocco tart served with chili chicken livers. You've got to say it slowly to make sure you enunciate every single one of those ingredients so that you can taste them before they're even on your plate. So now the green peppers have gone into your your pan. My mm-hmm. I'm not going to cook them for long yeah, as yeah. we want them crunchy. Excellent, you like that. And then? And then I'm going to add my chicken livers. There we go. And we're going to saute this until they roll brown, uh-huh. which is about four to five minutes. My thing is, not when I, well, not that I even cook livers at all, but when I enjoy cooked livers, I never like them to be dry. I want them to have a little bit of moisture okay, like yeah. on the ear. So how, how do you tell when your livers are cooked to perfection? If you can open it with your spatula yeah. or whatever, you can see if they cook to perfection. They must be light brown, not dark brown. Yes. Only for to, only for to five minutes on the stove. We don't want them to be rubbery and dry. Yeah, because like, I feel like go go high when they cook them, you got three, you got three yeah. and then it comes out, oh, and then it's, hey, it's dark brown. Exactly. Alright, SMS the keyword dish to 3378. We need to move it along very quickly. What are we doing with this? Okay. We're gonna add the chili sauce. Once the chicken livers are cooked, I think we can All right, so it cooks along. There we go. And the chicken okay, chili sauce. Absorb the flavor. And then that's gonna get mixed up in that pan over there, right? No, we're gonna plate them in the juice. Okay, we're and then start come. Like this. Let's do that. Turn off the heat and we come to this position over here. Once it's all nicely cooked, by the way, SMS dish to 33728, uh, you would have made your own mabelati. Yes. 
Let's go. Let's do it. All right. By the way, uh, if you'd like to cook one of these recipes uh, that are inspired by Me Albertina Sosso, especially as we celebrate her 100th uh, well, centennial, um, then all you've got to do is download this beautiful book, which is available free of charge from the department's website, tourism.gov.za. And it's as simple as that. You can read the recipe book off of there. You can download it off of there as well. And inspire your family as well, especially this festive season where we have all these lovely fancy recipes. This is one that can really hop back to the roots of home. Oh, and listen to this. Check it out. I was paging through the back. Hold on, I like the dessert in it. And this one from Chef Alfred Ngai. Um, 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 and chocolate coated masonja. Guys. We are eating like kings this festive season. It's absolutely beautiful. So, well, thank you very much. Yay. Much appreciated. And you can show us the rest of that. And it's an especially good 78. Wonderful. Wonderful.